Hey guys, it's me, My Reborns, and I am back with another video. So today is Tuesday, December 28th, and it's currently 5.44 p.m. Guys, there's two more days left. Two. That's it. And 2021 is over. It's going to be 2022. So I have Shanley here. And I am going to change him out of his Christmas outfit already. I know usually I keep my babies in their outfits forever. But I wanted to do this video and I didn't want it to just be... I don't know. I just didn't want the babies to be in the frame without me changing them or doing something. So I just decided to change Chandler. And I decided to change him this way because I've seen Teresa over at Baby Steps Treasure Rewards. I hope I got that right. This is probably like my third or fourth time trying to say her name on camera. I usually butcher it and have it switched around. So I do hope I got that right. And then um, Miss Randy Smith, she also changes sometimes. She also changes her babies like this on her lap. I just see it looks so aesthetically pleasing and it just looks so, I don't know. I liked it. So I decided to try it out. Let me know. So I decided to change them on my lap. So Mr. Chandler Whaler here. We're going to get him changed while I talk about um, my collection. Am I happy with my collection? Uh, my collection plans and updates for 2022 so that's what i'm going to talk about today in this video okay so i am going to be changing chandler into the sleeper now you guys know well you guys might not know but i never change my babies into sleepers unless it's for role play purposes morning night routine etc um but i always change my babies into outfits even though they do they don't have as much sleepers as outfits because i just don't buy them again but um i do still have some sleepers for my baby so i just decided to change him to a sleeper today you know we're gonna do something i guess a little different he would have got an outfit change but i saw the sleeper actually i'm not gonna lie i thought it was a romper <laughs> i thought it was a romper until i see the feetsies i was like oh it's a sleeper but it's cute so we're gonna still keep him in it so it's the wonder nation brand and it has a cute little fox and it's like an oatmeal brown color um and some stripes it's really cute and we're going to give him a diaper change and do his hair. So that's what he's going to be wearing. Anywho, am I happy with my current collection? I hope you guys stay in focus. Um, the viewfinder is out towards me so I can see. But I don't. I can't really tell if it's focused or not. But now I do love my current collection. I love all of my babies. Don't get me wrong. But do I see them staying all the way until the end of next year, 2022, almost 2023? No, not at all. So I do have some forever babies. Um, Messiah, Nolan, and Willow, as well as Zaire and Eilina. Those are my five forever babies. And so I will never ever sell them or give them away or do anything with them i will keep them forever however one of those babies who you guys um heard me mention was willow i got her 2020 i believe in may i believe i got her may of 2020 and uh her box opening is actually one of the most viewed or popular videos on my channel and so i'm so thankful for that and uh she got me very far in my youtube career but career <laughs> but my youtube i don't know whatever and so i do thank her for that however i think i am going to just send her back to the person i got her from so that they can either give her away or sell her um i don't necessarily like dislike her i just feel as if she doesn't fit into my collection so when i get my babies out of storage those three are in storage as you guys know, because I talk about it all the time. But once I get those uh, three babies out of storage and get Willow out of storage, I will be contacting her uh, previous mommy and sending her back. Um, again, it's not like I don't like her. I just don't think I would want to keep her in my collection. And so I'm just going to just send her back. I will be making some videos with her when I do see her again before I send her back so that you guys can see her one more time since you guys have barely saw her I barely did any videos with her I could barely remember her name that's how I knew it, it just wasn't going to work like I could never remember her name and I don't know if it's because I had you guys pick her name and I had chosen because I said she was like our little subscriber baby like she wasn't just my baby but I don't know I couldn't remember her name and I just 
don't think that I love her as much as my other baby. So Willow will no longer be a part of my collection. Like I said, I'm going to be sending her back to the person I got her from. And hopefully I can find all of her originals, like everything she came to me with. I hope I can. I think I can. If not, I'll just send her with some other stuff that she didn't come to me with. And uh, so Willow, that is my baby. You guys know for sure that is going to be leaving. And I don't know when I'm going to be seeing Willow, so I don't even have a date when I'm going to just be getting um, shipping her back. But I want to say maybe... Uh, I want to say maybe September the latest. So I want to say then, but I have no clue. I hope Scarlett and Claudia sells by May. If they don't, I have some things up my sleeves that I'm going to do with them so I can just go ahead and get them out of my way because they are stopping me from getting more babies because they are two, there's two of them. And they're both taking up, oh, I have a diaper over here. They're both taking up spots in the nursery. Well, not even a nursery because I don't have a nursery right now. You guys, I, you guys know I used to have one, but I don't have one right now. So they're taking up the very limited small space that I do have by just being here and not selling. So I hope by May they get sold. If not, I know what I'm going to do with them. So they should be gone by then, by May of 2022. Now you guys are probably wondering about Chandler and Javen. So I love both Chandler and Javen. I've always wanted... A fully completed full body silicone especially a boy i'm a all boys mom as you guys can see i literally have two girls and literally mm, only one girl <laughs> really just Elena. that's my forever girl so yeah i am an all boy mom so owning chandler was a dream however i do want another full body silicone rather that's a boy or a girl i really don't care anymore at this point I do want another one and the only way that I'll be able to get one is if I sold or traded Chandler. Now I was thinking about doing that rather sooner than later but everyone loves him <laughs> including my mom. She loves him and she told me that I should just wait to uh, try to get rid of him because you guys know I've been thinking about selling Chandler for quite a while now. I want to say since maybe even October. Or November and um, I just couldn't I couldn't do it. I couldn't go through with it I had a few people contact me but I just couldn't go through with it so I do want to possibly trade or sell Chandler so that that I can get another silicone especially if it's one that I really really like and that I really really want if not I will keep saving up for another one I have grown to really love the silicones I'm really fond of them and um, I know some people get silicones and they just like, it's not my thing. But I am definitely smitten with silicones. So I do want to get another one for 2022. That's going to be my one of my reborn goals. You guys know I do a video of like that every year. I'll have to do it sometime tomorrow or this weekend. My reborn goals for 2022. But that's definitely on my list. And I do want the baby to be African American. And so let's see if I can get that goal done for 2022. Javen, I love him so much. First ever toddler because um, Nolan is six to nine months. So I really, I used to consider him a toddler when I, when of course I had all of my little babies. But now that I've had Javen, I don't even consider him a toddler anymore. I just consider him an older baby. I love Javen so much. I love him since the first time that I saw him for sale. And I was like this close to purchasing him when he first went up for sale. Literally that close. I was just a tad bit too late. But everything worked out. My friend had ended up purchasing him. And then I ended up purchasing him from her. Or he was previously a her though. <laughs> and so to even be able to own him is just so amazing. Which is why I'm really trying to hold on to both of them. Chandler and Javen. I'm really, really, really trying to hold on to them because i love both of them so so much so i don't know if i'll be able to hold on to them for 2022 next year december now i may be able to hold on to them until maybe march 
<laughs> but that's really pushing it. You guys know that I sell my babies like crazy. And it's not for any particular reason. I mean, sometimes I get a baby and I'm just not too fond of it. And that doesn't happen quite often. Rarely, almost. Um, usually all of my babies that I get, I really love them so much. And I wish I could keep them in my collection forever and forever. But unfortunately, that can only be a select few. But um, there are some babies that I have regretted. And... Um, I had to sell them because that's the only way that I'd be able to get new babies. You know, some people have the luxury of keep buying and buying and buying and never have to sell unless they really want to. For me, that isn't the case. Um, I know a lot of you guys are like, why do you always sell your babies, lady? And uh, that's just simply because I have to. That's the only way. Um, I don't have any room. That's one of the main reasons why. And of course, uh, the second one is being able to afford all of these babies at the same time and so for me that is the case I have to sell some babies in order to buy some more and I am okay with that <laughs> because I enjoyed my time with them and so there's like like I said I do regret two sometimes three babies if that baby was weighed properly but there are those ones that I do regret selling however i know they are taken care of and in our good homes and they do have some siblings there um for one okay so one of the babies i regretted was my saskia by bonnie brown but she the lady who bought saskia had also bought a baby prior to buying saskia and a baby after that from me and so that lady had bought three babies from me and then uh, another one that I missed was my Gus by Tina Kiwi and that lady had bought my silicone from me. She had bought my silicone first and then my Gus. So you know at least they're all together there but yeah okay we're gonna have to fix his arm. Look at his arms. <laughs> okay but yes um, to answer the question because I was all over the place really I um I I mean like I said I do love my collection but am I happy with them and have all of them as forever babies no not at all not at all I wouldn't really consider Chandler or Javen a forever baby even though I love them so so much I would not consider them a forever baby so there's your answer but as far as all my other babies yes they are forever babies and i am super happy with them except for little miss willow but yeah i've been thinking about what to do with her for a while and my mind just kept going back to sending her back and having her just sell her or give her away because she does a lot of giveaways but um I probably actually have to reach out to her. I haven't talked to her in a while. And I still want to keep in contact with her. She's an amazing woman. So. Yeah. But I think that's pretty much me done with the question. Um, I don't know what's going on with this sleeper here. I Now I told myself the next silicone baby I get. Because I was looking at Tasha Eden Home Babies on the Dow Connection store. Um and uh i was going to get another one from over there but one thing that i don't like now don't get me wrong the babies are beautiful the sculpt is beautiful painted rooted all of that absolutely beautiful i just don't like the can you guys see <laughs> i don't like the arms they're just like little t-rexes and they're just stuck in that one position if they did have arms like this i would prefer armatures that way i can just go ahead and bend them easily and uh, be able to change them correctly but since their arms were just stuck or even if they just if they didn't have armatures even if their arms were just straight down i would love that as well just i feel like it might be easier to change them but since their arms is stuck up in the upward position it's super hard to change them and then it just looks all weird with the outfits on i'm trying to get it on but yeah there are a few people who i've well who have contacted me asking about chandler 
and I told him that they'll be the first ones to know when he goes up for sale so like that's before I post the video but they will get contacted first and then I will just go ahead and post a video if they if he doesn't get sold um Javen on the other hand I love Mr. Javen um I will be contacting his first mommy so the person who I bought him from I will be contacting her first to see if she would like to purchase him back again this is me speaking in the future this isn't right now because i'm not selling any of them right now the only babies i have for sale are scarlett and claudia and those are the two babies that i painted but um when the time does come for javen to get out <laughs> no and i'm not saying that to be harsh i'm just joking but i think i'm finally done i'm gonna fiddle with uh the sleeves off camera because they are going to be the death of me but i will contact her first his previous mommy and i will let her know that he um that i'm thinking about selling him to see if she would like to buy him back and if she doesn't then again you guys would be the first one to know but who knows maybe i will keep javen and maybe i will keep shambler you just never know maybe i will get blessed and win the lottery <laughs> or something maybe i will just get blessed and wake up one day with a million dollars in my bank account and then that way I won't have to sell any babies unless I really truly want to and don't fill the bond with them <laughs> but I love Chandler so so much so very much isn't that right and um I'm glad I got him again he was a birthday present from myself to myself and I was working so much in the summertime to get this boy I'm so happy that I did get him though and he was definitely a great first experience for a silicone. I say first experience because I did have two silicones prior to Chandler. But let me tell you why I say he's the first. So the first silicone I got was a partial silicone. Who was actually a prototype that I did not know. Or I guess I was too dumb to realize because on the certificate of authenticity it did say one out of one. But I don't know why I didn't. I don't know. But I ended up later discovering this year that uh that baby was actually a prototype which was actually really really cool that baby is long gone not even in this country anymore but anywho i had a partial silicone first and that baby was solid platinum silicone i think or something like that i don't know it wasn't ecoflex and then the second silicone i had was a full body yay but that baby was not painted and that baby was also the solid premium silicone i think not ecoflex either that baby wasn't painted so that's why i say chandler is my first actual silicone because he um is ecoflex 20 and now they have so many other different silicones they have like the marshmallow blend and all the other the super soft silicone blend and i definitely want to get a baby with one of those because if he's soft well in my opinion he's very soft then I know those babies have to be like really soft. But um, yeah, he's painted, he's rooted. He uh, he has the whole entire thing. So that's why I feel like he is my first silicone. But yeah, I'm just doing his hair now. I hope this was a good angle for you guys to see. Yeah, I'm such a copycat. <laughs> But I just love their videos when they have them face like this. It's so cute. So anyways, he's all nice and changed. I know this was a super long video. Most of my videos are long because I talk too much. You guys are wondering why I talk so much. Ask my mom. She talks a whole lot more than me. But we are going to... Um, well, I am going to give him his monkey friend. Yeah, his auntie had sent this for him when she sent Javen because we had bought... Javen from her and she has sent this for Chandler super cute and yesterday was my first time um having him use it and I was like this is so cute why have I not used it before so Elena definitely definitely needs to use her Dr. Brown's bottle that her auntie sent for her so cute and pink I'm trying to get this back in here now and so I think this is so cute. 
Um, I have to get more passy clips, but I love the ones with the animals. And the crazy thing is, when I was um, getting him, I was searching up these things like crazy, trying to find one. I just never bought one. And then, lo and behold, she sent one for him. And this pacifier fits him really good. This is a newbie pacifier. And it goes in his mouth literally perfectly. But yeah, here's his little monkey friend. Here's his outfit. Um, let me know what you guys think about this angle. Um, now, I do like this angle, but I don't know if it looks right here if it looks like good right here uh, maybe i'll have to go in the living room and change him on the couch with this angle um or just continue to change him in the boppy like the other babies but here's mr chandler's outfit he's going to bed soon even though it's 606 but he's gonna go to bed soon this outfit is so cute i just like talking i wish i could just talk for hours I mean, I like talking about the babies, but anything else, I don't really like talking that much. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so maybe I need to go live on my membership or something. I don't even know if I can go live on my membership. I think maybe I can. I don't know, maybe just to talk to you guys. But look at his hair. His hair looks so good. I don't like when his hair gets dry in the back because it looks... Like he's bald back there. But when it's wet and it gets uh, styled, it looks really good. But his hair in the front looks so good. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can really see that. But yeah, here is Chandler. Looks like he has a little eye boogie right here. Also, one thing that I do like about uh, him. I don't know if this is an all Tasha baby type of thing. But I really, really love that he does not get, he doesn't get like sticky really. or he, And he doesn't like collect a lot of hair. Like from time to time he will collect hair or like lint. But it's not a lot as I've seen on a lot of silicones. And I mean, I don't play with my babies off camera, which I've told you guys that before. I feel like they are more collectible or doubt. Sometimes I will go ahead and snuggle my babies. Not Chandler because he is silicone. But again, I don't, he doesn't, I don't have trouble with him collecting like a ton of lint and hair and things like that. Um, I've seen a lot of silicones collect like a lot of hair. I don't, I also don't have a pet either, but just hair in general. I don't know. But yeah, he doesn't collect a lot of hair and lint, which I really, really like. He is poured in one piece and he does move his head really really good which i also like so he is a perfect starter baby if you guys want a baby just like him you can order yourself one from the dial connection store and they have a great layaway plan i didn't buy him directly from there i bought him second hand um but he's literally in almost perfect condition almost he does have a few boo-boos he has uh oh he has a little boo-boo on his finger which you guys can't really see. It was sealed up with some silly epoxy, but if you look close enough, you can see it. And then he has a big boo boo on his neck, which has also been sealed up with epoxy seal. And then he has a small boo boo under his arm. So he has about three or four boo boos, but that's okay. He's a super big baby, and I love his size. That's one thing I do love. I love big babies. I love fat, chunky babies. Um, 21 to 23 inches is my favorite size. I could find a silicone that's that size that's aa it's like heaven i actually found one on ebay i've been going back and forth between the listing and debating on if i should sell them and guys why when i log into my ebay account they had suspended my account because i guess i didn't pay so i had paid so i can message the person for the silicone y'all why i pay ebay to like re insinuate my account or whatever so i sent them money they, un they gave my account back. Why the silicone baby wasn't on there anymore? <laughs> just my luck. $21 for nothing. I could have just simply made a new account with a new email. <laughs> but whatever. Anywho, this video is already long enough. So I thank you guys so much for watching. On the screen right now, there is my Instagram. My underscore reborns. Go ahead and give me a follow. Uh, like my pictures. Comment on them. And I do follow back Reborn accounts. I am on Reborns.com under Melanated Babe Bays. And I have some babies over there. Just two. Which I stated earlier. And that you guys always see. But if you want to. Go ahead and follow me over there. 
And I do have a membership if you guys want to go ahead and join. Everything that I stated is linked in the description below. Hope you guys all have an amazing New Year's. And live it up big because 2022 is here. Alright, if you guys... Oh, wait. There is an emoji. I almost forgot this. There is an emoji on the screen somewhere. Uh, comment that emoji down below. What it lets me know is that you watched all the way until here, which is pretty much the end. And I thank you guys so much because you watched me talk for almost 27 minutes now. And I, of course, when I edit, it might be a little shorter than that, but most likely not. Um, if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below anything you want in the comments, including video requests. And me and Chandler will talk to you guys later. Alright, bye!